Okay, this is the second demo in a series of three. The first in the first demo, we used Power City plus G Burner to rip our uh, karaoke music from two discs to our hard drive. In this particular demo, we'll use Pilot Songbook Creator to import those songs, do some basic text editing, and push the changes back to our hard drive. And then in uh, the third demo, we'll use the uh, Siglos Karaoke Professional software to import those uh, finished songs into its database. The first thing we want to do here is click the Import tab and select From Files and Folders. This brings up the Import File and Folder Names into Songbook uh, window. There's a couple of things that we're going to want to interact with on this window. The first of which is to select the root folder for our where our song files are located on our hard drive. So we'll click Browse, and we'll find where we ripped those files from Power CDG Burner. And here they are, uh, disk one and disk two. So we'll click OK. We want to search the root folder and all subfolders, so we'll leave that checked. We want to uh, then specify what the import song file name template was. If you left the default file name mask in Power CD plus G Burner when you imported your songs, you can use the default file name template here without having to make any changes. And because we did that, we'll go ahead and leave the default template here. There is a later demo in another series that specifies exactly how the file name template process works. But in this particular case, we can use a default. Finally, before we uh, click import, we want to uh, talk uh, real briefly about the prompt on mismatch option here. The way Power CD plus G Burner names your tracks is it, it uses an online database to uh, to figure out what the song titles and artist names are. So not every disc is in that database. And the ones that aren't will be simply named track one, track two, track three, track four, and so on. Well, track one, track two, track three, and so on doesn't match this particular template. And uh, when the import process encounters one of those files and you have prompt on mismatch checked, it'll present you with a, a small window that allows you to edit that data right on the spot. In fact, uh, there's even an option to drag the song file to a karaoke player uh, so that you can uh, actually see what the song file is if you don't know. But that's a convenient way to edit that data all at once. If you do do that, a, a quick tip, just enter all the data in lowercase, no, spe no special formatting, uh, because there are tools to, to fix the case later. Okay, now at this point we're going to go ahead and click import. And that imported the two disks that we ripped with Power CD plus G Burner into the database. If you remember, we only uh, ripped four songs from each disk, so it only imported four songs from each disk. But you can see it put the artists and the titles in the correct place. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to song view so that we can see all of the songs at once. And then we're going to access our tools to uh, do some basic tool or text editing on, on these eight songs to uh, make them fit our preferences. One preference I have is I like to put uh, singer's last names first. To do that, I'm going to highlight or click in the field that has a particular artist name, and I'm going to click this tool here, which uh, toggles the order of the first and last names. I notice that the shortcut key is F2, and I'll keep that in mind for the next time. So now I have George Strait became Straight George. I'll hit F2 on my keyboard and uh, on the rest of these where the name is uh, in the first name, uh, last name format. And that, uh, you, as you can see, I can quickly go through my uh, collection of artists and, and make that uh, change. The next change that I want, just for some consistency and to make it easier to find songs in the songbook later, is to move the articles, which is A, and and the, to the end of the, the song title or artist. And in this particular case, we have the impossible dream. And we want to make that impossible dream, comma, the. 
The easiest way to do that is to use this tool here, which is Move English Language Articles to the End of Text. And this will do it for the whole database. You don't have to do this per individual song. So we'll click that. And you see it changed one song title, so we'll click OK. And if we look at The Impossible Dream, uh, it became Impossible Dream, comma, the. The last we, uh, edit we want to do is convert all of our songs to a to a specific form of title case, which just makes sure they're all consistent. And this also will help if you hand entered anything and you just use all lowercase just for simplicity. This will this is where that'll be corrected. So we'll click this particular tool converts the case of the entire song database to title case. It made a couple of changes, uh, and it tells you that that fact. Okay, now we've got the songs looking the way we want them to look. So we're going to go do a synchronize uh, to, to push those changes back to the hard drive. So we're going to click Synchronize All. And uh, in, in the Specify New File Name Format, there's no change we need to make to the default. But this is how you'll specify, uh, how you can specify the exact naming convention the software will use. Uh, for the for the import into Siglas Karaoke Professional, I recommend using exactly what you see here. Uh, in this particular case, no zip conversion is necessary, but I could opt to convert my uh, zip files to the MP3 plus G format or the other way around if if that was applicable. I'll just click OK. Uh, the software now does some pre-processing. And uh, as you can see, the current file name as Power CD plus G Burner named the songs is in this particular column, and the new file name, as this that the as a songbook software will rename the songs is shown in this column, and you can see that they match that new template uh, exactly as I specified, and you can see that the where I made some changes in my database from Tom Jones to Jones comma Tom is also reflected. So I'm satisfied with this, how this looks, so I'm going to go ahead and click Proceed. Uh, the software now goes through. It renamed, actually changed the names of the songs on the hard drive to match what this new file name was. And, uh, and, and it gives me the status here that all zip files are renamed. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm going to click OK. Now my, all of my songs uh, match, my song file names on my hard drive match my song database. And they're all renamed consistently so that I can easily import them into uh, Siglos Karaoke Professional, which will be the subject of the next demo. The last thing I want to do is go ahead and save my songbook. I'll just save it as test.psb uh, uh, and then click Save. Okay, that concludes this particular demo. The next demo in the series, like I said, will uh, discuss how to import your songs into the Siglos Karaoke Professional Database.